I was doing a little planar maintenance after some heavy use yesterday, and I noticed that because of all of that use, my in-feed and out-feed tables are a little wonky. They're not aligned anymore like they were, and um, those in-feed and out-feed tables help reduce snipe. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I fix that. So my first problem was I found out that screw had wiggled itself loose. So luckily I found a replacement that would fit. I don't know what happened to the other set screw, but check your screws periodically. Make sure that they're not loose. All four of them on this backside were loose and one was missing. Uh, I guess over time they just wiggled free. So check those. Now what we're gonna look for is that both of those outfeed and infeed sides are flat and completely in the same plane with the bed here in the middle. And the way I'm gonna do that is by using my planer sled or jointer sled that I use in the planer, uh, which is just a big flat piece of melamine that I then um, put a board on to be able to join. But I know that the backside is flat and I also know it's about 48 inches, a little bit less because I had to cut a piece off and screw it onto one end as a stop, but <clears throat> it's about 48 inches long. So I know it'll span both sides and we'll just use this to clamp those uh, tables into place and then tighten them down. So that's the key. You wanna make sure that your table is completely loose and then just get some clamps and clamp it in place. Make sure that it's on the inside of these rails. So you see that there, making it flat. I'm gonna make it flat on the other side or flat to my sled. Uh, do the other side. And now it's as simple as just tightening up all the set screws and you're good to go. And you'll know you're good because there's no gaps now. So we're sitting flat in the middle, we're sitting flat on both ends. Um, those gaps existed when we first started. Now they're gone. So remove the clamps and make sure you're still parallel, which we still look good. The nice thing about using that method instead of using a level is because a level you have to check on both the front to back of the planer and side to side along the planer. And it, it can be kind of difficult to go back and forth. So using a big sled like that, that's basically the exact same size uh, width as my planer, then I don't have to worry about the side to side as long as I clamp it on both edges. So there you go. Easy planer alignment, uh, in feed out feed table planer alignment.